Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review video. I have seven books. Two of the books are kind of similar in a way, and the other ones were kind of okay. Some were good, some were just so-so. So this one, this one I really didn't like. It's called Habits of the House. It's supposed to be kind of like Downton Abbey in a way. I think this is like a trilogy because it says on the back somewhere, um, it's like, I predict a happy success for the trilogy, so it must be a trilogy. I don't have any more of these books. It's by Faye Weldon. This is what it looks like. And basically, it was kind of like a book about, um, this, um, family, kind of like Downton. They have two heirs, um, the son and then the daughter, and the daughter, she doesn't want to get married. She says she doesn't want to be, um married off just to be with somebody to make heirs to this fortune and the son he um he has this um love triangle thing going on with this woman who is like a prostitute kind of and it's something where in this book where they have to marry off one of the children because they're running out of money. And I forget why they're running out of money. Because it's been a while since I read this book. But they want this... They want their son to marry this American. Which, back in the day, um, around this time, like around Downton time, you know, it wasn't unusual for um, these British aristocrats to marry female heiresses. And the whole book is basically like... He doesn't want to marry her. He doesn't love her. She is in love with him until she finds out about this other woman that she doesn't know anything about. And she gets upset. And then she has her own little secret that um, in the book they tell each other each other's secrets. And the guy basically, well, she's like, okay, like, yeah, once we get married, um, because everybody in the book says, oh, once he gets married, he'll, he won't go see that other girl again. And then when she tells him her secret, he goes off on her and he's like, well, well she's like, why is it any different? I mean, I mean, it's the same, it's not the same thing, but it was like, why was it what well, you did okay and what she did wasn't kind of thing? And it was just okay. The chapters were really long in the book. I mean, it goes by day, and then it goes by the time of day. The first couple chapters in this book were basically, like, the same day, but within, like, four or five minutes, because they had different characters in, the, in each chapter. And the other thing, too, was that you had to keep in mind who everybody was in the book, because there's a lot of different um, characters you have to remember. And some of the characters, I couldn't remember if they were people that worked for the parents or people that were in their lives, like their friends and stuff. It was hard to keep track of who was who in this book. And there wasn't anything in the beginning of the book to say, oh, here's the people that worked in this castle, mansion, house. And these are the people that um, they talked to and stuff like that. This one is a series of books. I don't know what um, number in the series this is. It's a Maggie Hope mystery. It's the Prime Minister's Secret Agent. It's by Susan... I think it's Elia. I think that's how you say her middle name. And then MacNeil. This is what it looks like. These books take place um, during the during World War II. Um, King George the Sixth is... Yeah, I was going to say is president is the King of England, um, Princess Elizabeth is a princess still, she's not queen, and her sister Margaret is princess, and it's about this woman who helps solve mysteries, but the thing with this book was that there was this one thing, she goes, she, she's working at this place in Scotland to help train people to go into the war, and she's training them, and this one event happens in the book that you kind of are like 
when the main event thing happens, which is her friend gets her friend is in this ballet company, and these her her friend and this other woman get sick, and the one dies. Um, this little event that happens, the whole book when that when when her friends her friend gets sick, all relates to this one thing that happened earlier in the book, and you're just like, oh, do you please remember what happened in the beginning of the book the whole time. And halfway through the book, they solve the mystery. And you're like, okay, because the other um, part of the story is is it talks about um, the events leading up to Pearl Harbor. So that's the other part of the story. But it's like the thing with this book that really was weird was that the mystery ended halfway through the book. And then it was basically kind of like a timeline of what happened with Pearl Harbor. And she has to go back to England to help Churchill go to the U.S. because she's half um, American and half British because they want to go talk to the, well, I guess the next book is about her going with him to meet the president to talk about what just happened at Pearl Harbor. This book was called Hocus Crocus. It's a bed and breakfast mystery. I did read a couple of these books before. It's by Mary Danheim. This is what it looks like. And it had 300 some pages. And in my opinion, I feel like if it's a mystery book, it shouldn't go over 300 pages. Because I feel like when it goes over 300 pages, that just means that like there's a lot of the storyline where nothing really happens in the book. So this is about these two women, their cousins, they own the, this bed and breakfast. The one cousin's working on another bed and breakfast at their family cabin place um, near a casino. And they end up going on vacation there with their husbands and their mothers. And here this thing happens to two of the women that are in this man's magic act, which he doesn't call himself a magician, he calls himself an illusionist. And throughout the whole book, she tries to figure out who did it and why. And it's kind of shocking at the end um, what happened. And it was kind of like a weird way to end a mystery book, kind of. The way the mystery was solved, which was really weird. So these next two books are kind of similar. They're both Harlequin books. This is called Her, Ar Her Amish Child. It's by Lenora Worth. This is what it looks like. Um, this is about a woman who, she's widowed, she lives with her mother-in-law, who, um, was her husband, her husband's mom, and she's a widow, too. She's been a widow for a long time, and here, this baby ends up at their doorstep saying that she, um, a note saying she can't raise her, this woman can't raise her baby, she wants her baby to be raised Amish, and they find out that, um, they find out that, um, the man who owns this property, their neighbors, and he thinks that this baby is his niece because his sister, um, there was like a cap the baby had on or something and had her sister, his sister's initials in this cap. And here they find out that it is true that this is her, this is his niece, and they're trying to figure out where his sister is and why she gave the baby up and he's trying to bring her back to um, the Amish faith. He's trying to bring her back into their life because they had a rough childhood growing up and this um, the Amish woman it wants to, is doesn't want to um, take care of the baby with her mother-in-law and she ends up, she really ends up loving the baby and she doesn't want to give the baby up kind of but she knows that if his sister comes back and wants the baby has to give her up because she never had children with her husband because they died <laughs> he died so young in their marriage it was a cute book i really liked them because sometimes i have a couple harlequin books and i went through a phase where i read a lot of them and they kind of got boring after a while and they kind of followed the same format after a while but these two, it was nice. It was nice to read some of these heart, some of the Harlequin books that I have. That I have. Um, this is another one that's kind of similar to that first one I just showed you. It's the Cowboy's Unexpected Baby. It's by Stephanie Dees. This is what it looks like. 
it's basically the same thing. This man, he's like a lawyer. This baby was found at his doorstep. Um, this woman comes to work with um, the company that he works for. And he's, he says to her that um, she's kind of like... Um, He's kind of like the fostering type of person. Like, he tries to help people in the foster care system, that type of thing. And here he thinks that this baby is one of his clients who she... I guess, like, she did drugs and stuff. And she was in the foster care system for a long time. Nobody really wanted her. And when she turned 18, she didn't really know what to do. And I guess she got pregnant. Um from her it was like a thing that happened with her her boyfriend's friends or something like that and it didn't work out obviously um so she felt like she couldn't take care of the baby and throughout the whole story he is trying to help her out he wants her to bond with the baby to get her used to the baby because if they if um because they still have to decide if the baby can stay with him or not. And they need her to say, oh, like, yeah, I give him consent to, ha to take care of the baby. I don't want the baby. He can have the baby. Stuff like that. Um, second to last book. This is um, Megan, the Unmasking of the Monarchy. It's by Andrew Morton. This is what it looks like. There's pictures in the book. Um, there's two sections in... I think there's two sections in the book, right? Yeah, two sections in the book where there's pictures. One section is from her childhood. And then the other part, the other half of the pictures are from, like, when she was with Prince Harry. And it's basically her story. Um, there are comparisons they try to make between... Um, Wallace Simpson, which was King Edward the Eighth's wife, and then obviously Princess Diana, which I feel like if they wanted to tell her story, I mean, I get the fact that, you know, the comparisons are there and stuff, but I feel like if they want to tell her story, they shouldn't have broke it up into comparing her to two different other people. They should have just let, um, t tell her like, life story up to, you know, when they left the monarchy, and then just leave it at that, you know what I mean? Not compare her to Wallace Simpson and Princess Diana all the time throughout the book. This is called Shatter. It's a, kind of like a thriller book. It's by Bri Brian Harper. This is what it looks like. And the only one thing I can describe it to, it's kind of, like, not similar, but it's like... A James Patterson book, but up, like, maybe two or three more notches. Um, it's about this woman who dies, and this woman from a, from a different, the L.A. County, like, police department comes in to help with this case, and then it has three or four different characters, and then the whole time in the book, you, um... Like, it's around these four guys. And it's shocking who really did it in the book. Because it's somebody you... Out of the four or five guys that... Four of the five guys that work in this other police department where this murder happened. This person died. Um, it... Like, it goes through the whole book. And you you think it's this one person. Because of how, how this guy wrote the book. But it turns out to be this other person. Which you never would have thought did it. But that was my book review video for this month. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.